Today's topic titled is Money, Servant or Idol. Whoever trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will thrive like a green leaf. Proverbs eleven twenty eight. The book of Proverbs has lots to say about the three most dangerous temptations, money, sex, and power. These temptations are a constant threat, even to believers. No matter how far they have run in their personal races of life, money is one of life's essentials. Without it, we cannot buy necess necessities, such as food, clothing, and shelter. With it, almost everything we could ever want or dream of, of becomes possible. Whenever there is a great natural disaster, our television screens are full of appeals. What for? For money. With money, the charitable agencies can supply the needs of suffering people. Scripture encourages us to consider that everything we have belongs to God and to be generous toward those in need. But because money can buy anything, wanting more can be a dangerous temptation. Money can buy good things, but it can also be used for purposes that will take our eyes off God, lead us astray, and consume our souls. There is nothing that can so quickly grow a spiritual cataract over our eyes as greed. It can have the effect of blinding us so that we cannot see the deceptive traps we may be falling into. And then, when we have acquired a lot of money, fear takes hold. Why? Because any time we put our trust in money as a means of doing whatever we want, we are no longer trusting God to be our provider, Jehovah Jireh. We are trusting in what has become an idol in our hearts, and idolatry is driven by fear rather than love. The fear of not having enough makes people desperate to protect what they have, and the fear of losing it can turn the rich from generous givers into the meanest of people, as portrayed by Abenezer Scrooge in Charles Dickens' amazing novel, A Christmas Carol. This character gave birth to a new world, word in the English language, a Scrooge, a mean, miserly, and unhappy person. Even though rich in its world's goods, <clears throat> those who depend on their riches are short-sighted, as today's scripture tells us. Those who trust in riches will fall. Proverbs twenty-seven twenty-four adds to this. Riches do not endure forever. When the scriptures talk about not lasting forever, they are contrasting the perspective of time and eternity. Earthly wealth can run out 
and it has no eternal value. We may die as rich people, but where is the treasure of our hearts located? If it is in the wealth we are leaving behind, we have problems. As Jesus explained in his parable of the rich farmer in Luke twelve thirteen to 21, the man wanted to build bigger barns in which he could store all his grain and all his goods so that he can so that he could then take life easy eat drink and be merry but god's assessment of this man's objectives was very different the man had been blinded by his riches to eternal truths in the story god said to him you fool this very night your life will be demanded from you then who will get what you have prepared for yourself jesus concluded this is how it will be with every anyone who stores up things for himself but is not rich toward god money can be a means of huge provision and blessing but it can also be a self-destructive trap if this is an area of temptation for you i pray that you will learn to take off your eyes off what you have here in earth time and focus on what you can take with you into eternity for where your treasure is there your heart will be also matthew 6 21 when we are living righteous lives with the right focus in our hearts we will as our verse tells us thrive without the need to be trusting in riches for they will fall help me lord to value your provision and to trust you for all i need forgive me lord for the times when i have taken my eyes off you and trusted in my possessions instead of you give me your wisdom to have a right balance in my life to be generous with what you have given me and to keep my focus on you the treasure of my heart in jesus name amen